All right, everyone, we're working on the gun tank. It's almost ready for a primer. I mean, almost. I've got five parts I need to work on, and then I'm putting primer on it, and the work I have to do on the five parts is minor. So it's time to start talking about display base. Now, you're looking at a Parkview Terrace tenement, okay? A tenement is housing for poor people. You know, if you use the word tenement, you're not saying this is wonderfully nice housing. It's end scale. I wanted a building to show off the size of the gun tank. So I found office buildings. I found all sorts of stuff end scale. Unfortunately, most of the end scale stuff you find is 1950s. And I don't want 1950s. You've got a gun tank. You've got this thing that's four or five stories tall running around on tank treads with arms and a head. That wouldn't be 1950s. I mean, weird 1950s sci-fi it could, but this isn't that style. This one at least doesn't necessarily have to be 1950s. Second thing up with it is this is a half building. In other words, this is a, for a backdrop. It's not a full building. You would put it on the very back edge of the train track so that you have something back there at the end. So it's not a full building and that, that, that fits everything I need perfectly, okay? Now let's talk about end scale for a little bit. When I searched 144 scale, end scale popped up. End scale is anywhere from 1, 400, one to 140, sorry. End scale is 1 to 140th to 1 to 160th and 144th fits in there somewhere. I mean, it's between those two numbers. I got some end scale people too. Now to make sure we're not too far crazy here, I have a sprue from the Bandai Millennium Falcon that's 144 scale. And there's peoples on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the peoples to this and see if we're badly out of scale. So right here, and I'm gonna zoom it in, that's Chewbacca. And Chewbacca's like a giant. And that's probably Han Solo right there. And we have him standing and seated as well, okay? And we take our little peoples here, and you can see they're almost the exact same size there. In fact, these might be a little bit bigger. So, scale's good. 144 scale and scale, it's going to work fine here. It's really close to the same. Close enough, I'm good with it. Let's open this box and let's see what's in it. And i got to zoom the camera back the other way because we don't need to zoom in too much on my emergency workers. And I wanted emergency workers. You can already kind of get an idea what kind of scene I'm trying to set with this thing. Okay? Now, there's a few things in the box that don't come with the box, so don't think you're going to get them. Well, one, you do get that, but some of the things, well, they're not in the box. I thought they were. Okay, everything in the box is what you get. You get directions, one sheet, and structure kit. There's the directions. You know, those aren't the best directions for model building. That's because this is model railroad, not model. So they tend to be a little sparse. It does have some 1950 stylings with the windows being curved over the top, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I mean, it's possible this building's been there for 40 or 50 years. I could see that happening. So I'm not worried about the styling of it. You get some stair rails. The stair rails are almost delicate. You get a drain pipe and that drain pipe is very delicate. And a couple other things come with it too. Okay, staircase. Windows, lots of clear little windows you glue in one at a time. Brown sprue, ooh, look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? I won't use that color. I'm gonna paint it something else. It does have a good brick texture to it, which I am very happy to have. Let's take a zoom in so everyone can see that brick texture, because you probably can't see it right there. But if I take that camera in, and more, can we go more? Can the camera make it more? There we go. Yeah, you should be able to see that brick texture now with the reflection and the light. Very nice brick texture, and I know how to work with that. So I'm going to show you how to make that brick come out really well, okay? Mm -hmm. You can do it with a wash, but I don't like doing washes. I like doing it differently. Now, here's the ceiling and basement and another one of those drain pipes, okay? And lots of window molds and doors. And I'm gonna probably leave these doors that color. I may not use the framework on the windows though because, well, with the doors, 
the windows, I think the clear windows will fit in the frames as they are. I can check real quick. If they do, I don't need to, yeah, they'll fit in there as they are. You can see that. I don't have to use the window frames. So I could leave them as just big solid pieces, even though I don't like the arch on them. The window frames go on one side and the windows go on the other. So I could always change my mind that there is molding around, there is brick molding around the window frame. So it'd be okay if I didn't use the actual molded window frames. So it depends on what I want it to look like. 1950s style on the windows is fine. Not gonna bother me any, to be honest with you. And it did come with some decals. And, you know, I don't quite know what those decals say. If I put them up near the camera, maybe it'll focus on my hand instead of the background and we can read them. There it goes. I still don't know what they say. <laughs> I'm old. I don't have good eyesight. So, if we take this, I'm putting some cheater glasses on and seeing what they say. Do not block stairway. Private property. Tenement parking only. That's funny. I have parking signs, right? Well, what good is a model uh, apartment complex without a parking lot? There's an end scale parking lot. Okay, so I have a parking lot to go in front of my parking my apartment complex. I also have these emergency workers right here, and they're supposed to be a stretcher for them to carry. So we need an ambulance. I got an end scale ambulance. This is going to have to be repainted. Okay, because no ambulance is bright red like that. Now, if, just in case you're wondering, that looks kind of tiny compared to the gun tank. It's because it is. Let me find the treads on the gun tank. Just so you can get an idea of just how monstrously big this thing is. Because, you know, one of the road wheels is almost the same size as that van. So this thing is a monster when it comes down to it. One of the main guns, there you go. The shell coming out of that gun is, yeah, about, it's not the size of a human, but it'd be the size of a small dog. I wouldn't want to, well, maybe the size of Big Joe down there on the floor. Yeah, we, we, have, we have another dog right now. His name's Big Joe. You guys haven't seen Big Joe, have you? He's okay. a pit bull. Pit bull mix. Pitbull Not pure pitbull. Okay. Big Joe, he um, we're going shaky cam. We're going shaky cam. Oh no, oh no. There's Big Joe. How you doing, Big Joe? Huh? You know we got a camera on you? You're saying hi to like five hundred people. Did you know that? Well, Big Joe's he's he's a good kind kind little dog. Miri rides him tries to anyhow. I probably ought to catch that on video, her climbing on top of him and seeing how it works. Anyhow, everyone, we have parking lot signs. We have, and they came with them. We have emergency workers. All I have to do is put this apartment building together. Now, one of the things I didn't mention about the apartment building is this is the uh, roof. This is the top of the roof. This is the ground floor. This is the bottom of the ground floor. It does come with a basement. If you want to put a basement in, you can. I don't think I'm going to put a basement in because that means I have to elevate my base so far up, and I don't really want to do that. Now, I could just put the apartment building on Slight Hill and have... That might cause some, give me some drama and put the parking lot on a Slight Hill. But anyhow, you can cut the width of the building in half by cutting it along this brake line here or this brake line here. You can make a three-story building instead of a four by likewise cutting it into certain brake lines, okay? If you look at the side panels, they have a place where you can cut them. So you can cut the side panels and make the building a different height, okay? I don't think this building will take very long to put together. It's along the lines of the Japanese castle I built for the Godzilla diorama a long time ago. So I'm not really concerned about the time or the effort involved in putting the building together. It should be fine. But you can see things are starting to come together. And, you know, an N-scale parking lot, this gun tank, is just going to be sitting halfway across it. If I were to put some treads together and just kind of set it together. 
Yeah, that gun tank's gonna sit halfway across that parking lot. And he's almost as tall as a four-story building. So it's gonna it's gonna create a good background for me, I think. The backdrop for this. The hatch is missing. It came off, but I know where the hatch is. And you know, if you look at it, a person could sit in there. That is about right scale. So I'm not upset at all with any of my purchases here. I think it's going to set up a good diorama. Well, hope you enjoyed this little segment. I will be back soon. All right, you can see I've got apartment building everywhere. Um, I've kind of tentatively put together parts of the apartment building. This is what it looks like right now. Okay. Um, my finger got in some glue. I'm making all sorts of rookie mistakes here, but I'll sand. That should sand out. I'm going to do some sanding on this, some primer and some sanding anyhow. I'm not carrying it any further. There is a piece here that goes back here. I'm not going to carry it any further because I want to be able to sand these parts. You'll, you'll see why I say that in a few minutes. So that's as far as that goes right now. The roof is in hand. I'm going to put a piece of 1200 grit sandpaper on the top of that roof because that roofs are pebbly and stuff and a light gray sandpaper would look just great on there. Okay, the other thing we're gonna talk about real quick are the manipulator arms. So let me do a zoom in and so you guys can see this. <clears throat> it doesn't look great. I'm gonna, I've got some stuff to fix on it. First off, there's a seam line running right where this white styrene is. I'm filling in the gaps in the seam line and sanding out the rest of the gaps. I've got to put some filler in here because there's too much of a gap there. Right there was some nice little detail, but the problem with that detail was you had a seam running down the center of it. So instead of dealing with the detail, I got out my photo etch collection. Okay. Now, a lot of this is left over from the Mercury 9. This little sprue of photo etch right there is uh, 1350 structural ship sprue, uh, just features. It, the package really wasn't labeled with much. And here's what the package says, and you can see where I got it from. Okay. And it so happened that one of those things, oh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong package. Or is it? No, that was the right package. It so happened that one of the things right along here fit perfectly in that spot. So, it's structural set part one. You know, it wasn't for any specific boat. It's just scale one through 50. And it's just various structural photo etch parts, which I thought would be good on the Mercury 9 I never used and then I kept them it wasn't really expensive you know I got this one which is bigger parts okay this ah the course when I look up at the camera it's like I don't know how to focus on that um this is bigger parts it's all little structural stuff and you know I had some other leftover stuff from this I had some wheels camera really doesn't want to focus on this stuff these are um, door handles you know the little turny door handles you would see in submarines and ships found a whole bunch of this sort of thing I got fencing okay and that might work with my um, and this has got various size these are ship rails the guard rails on a ship I might be able to use it as a fence. I also have some antenna arrays in case I ever want to do something fun with those. I, I collected all this stuff when I was working on it, the Mercury 9 again. And I've got more guardrails for ship right there, but it'll probably work at the scale I'm working with as being a fence around a playground or along the parking lot. Because it's not very tall, it's about waist height. Some of these are about waist height for the figure, so it's perfect. So I'm going to keep these out and close at hand and use whatever I need to detail up my gun tank. Don't need them on the apartment building, okay? I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to put the picture frame windows in there for the apartment building or not. 
I'm definitely going to have to build a back for it because right now you will be able to tell there's no floors in that building and I might have to build some floors. I'm also considering cutting off one of the corners and doing some battle damage to the building. So we will see. That will come only if I have enough time. We still have a month left in the contest and I haven't started on the Enterprise. Well, the Enterprise will get started on. Don't worry about that. It's, well, I just want to make sure I finish the gun tank. Let's put it that way. And I'm enjoying the gun tank right now. Because, well, I am. So I have a few more parts i got to do some seam filling on. You know, the ammo tank right here. It needs some work. But other than that, you know, it's coming along fairly well. It is going along fairly well. I will be back with an update a little by next segment pretty soon. Okay, I'm going to let that photo etch dry and do a little seam filling on it. The tanks need some seam filling or detail or something to them. And I think I found something in one of the photo etch sets that will work perfect for detail along those tanks, along the edges of those tanks to hide the seam line. You know, not sure, but if I look, I bet I can find something. Oh, I just did. Yeah, I did. So I'll be back in a little bit. I'm, I'm going to cut it out and see how it works. I'll let you guys know. I'm not going to show you beforehand. If not, I'm just going to do the standard styrene stripping. I'll be back later.